just know your time starts as soon as the laser reconnects. All right, so once I say on you, stay still and go. But 100% of the events, this happens. A, run in a straight line. B, run all the way through. Got every single event, someone stops or pulls up right as they're getting to the finish line. And you went to the other side. Usually we're always looking over here, Big 12. Mm -hmm. And is that somewhere you wanted to go? You a Jayhawker? Uh, yeah, I am Rock Chalk Jayhawk, but <laughs> kind of took my visit there and hit it off with the coaches and the campus was just beautiful and really helped my decision on the visit. Names, like what's your name? Charlie. That's it? Just Charlie. I'm Charlie Karlovic. There you go. I'm Cody Brown. Cody Brown. I remember you, dude. Casey Griffin. What? Casey Griffin. Oh, you come on, boy. From the gut, bro. Got to get to the microphone. White Walker. Andrew Lamb. John Ryder. See, that's the way you do it. What are you guys feeling about your season? Um, I think we're a pretty good year. We're, we're pretty young, so we're going to have to face some adversity just being going against some older guys. But I think we stack up pretty well as a team, and we're pretty we're pretty well bonded. So yeah, I'm yeah. looking for a good year, yeah. Ring pop. It's ring yeah. pop? Rise ring pop, like the brain what? rise. <laughs> Dude, I, I've never been more locked in while hitting BP this morning. Like drugs, dude. Can you I just mean, hit a ring pop like off your finger or what? Basically. I mean, with some powder, put it in the drink, just shake it up. There You're you good go. to go. Because <laughs> he gets up, he gets up his bucket. He's down, down. Time, babe. Yeah. The slowest walk out too. Oh, I know. He just he just lets us cut our breath. With who? With any of the teams. We wouldn't talk about anything, bro. All we did. Was I remember. I still. I don't. Do you still have that picture at the at the Dreamfields? Yeah. We we're yeah. just like, I, dude. This is the. Oh no, I had the Kronos at the time. I've had this since the extreme, dude. Mm -hmm. She's in good shape. Yeah, where's the purple one? You didn't bring her out today. Purple one. Did you not order one? Uh -huh. 44. No. Why would I? Because we we're getting the Ruchis for LSU, so it'd be like a waste of money almost getting one. Because I don't know if we can have our own. Is that spring loaded? Mm -hmm. What is that? Like shock absorbers? Yeah. Alright, I'm ready. You good? There you go. Make some big numbers. Thing on, right? Yeah. Alright. Done. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. uh, fastball, okay. forcing fastball, curveball, and changeup. Okay. In that PBR event, what are you working on, bud? Uh, basically, just working on my 60 time today, trying to get my time a little bit faster mm -hmm. and exit velo, of course, going up and maybe get a good outfield velo today, too. All right, here at uh, the sports barn, PBR uh, preseason All-State Showcase, correct? Yes, sir. And I pulled Kevin Mulder over here, pulled him out of there. He's got the, the next group getting started, the afternoon group. But man, the morning and these pitchers, it's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it's been as advertised for sure. We've had a lot of great individual performances this morning, uh, starting off with the uh, 60s and uh, you know, Jackson Carter turned in a really good time. Uh, about a he six was disappointed. Five. He goes, uh, and, and somebody said, I can't help it. I'm sorry. I was standing over there. He goes, dude, you ran a 6'5". <laughs> <laughs> That's how fast he is. He can get made. He's, and I've seen him run the 6'4 before. Yeah. Uh, and then we jumped into BP and had multiple dudes uh, rolling up over 100 miles per hour. Uh, during BP and you know not just that some really good rounds of batting practice which is great uh, a lot of strong defense uh, catchers in particular were really strong behind the plate and then my goodness we're we got we're finishing up pitching right now and uh, wow the arms have been impressive and uh, you know uh, Brady Kellenbrink up to 93 Alex Bryan threw a really really strong uh, bullpen yeah uh, Three pitch mix, Kaysen Murphy, the lefty, um, was upper 80, so a lot of really, really good, impressive stands. And I'm, I'm missing some, I gotta go I'm back sure. through some of them. We, uh, 
you know, put some of this stuff out in social media over the next couple days, but it has been really good. I like the fact, you know, I was over there with uh, Brady and Alex Bryans, the consistency. You know, we always talk about that top number, but uh, Brady was consistently 91. Yep. You know, and hitting that 91 mark consistently, that, that's what to me was impressive, Kevin. Yeah, really, really strong, uh, very consistent strike throwing. Um, another one that jumped off the map a little bit was uh, freshman Grant Merhall, who's committed to Louisville, uh, was throwing strikes today in the mid 80s. So that was really impressive, physical frame, and a lot of projection there. So mm -hmm. a lot of good things today, right? Absolutely. I, I One of our good, uh, guys, we love, we follow a lot. Riker Benz, I know he was at 103. That was the top max. one, top uh, exit velocity of the day, and took a just nice gap to gap uh, round of BP and was stinging it. So he, <laughs> he looked good. Uh, it's going really well right now. It's just I work out in the mornings. That's what I do for workouts. I work out from 6:30 to 7:30 every morning. Uh, I mean Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays. Uh, give myself two off days. Get ready to prepare for the season, basically for high school. Roll it. Uh, right here. Good. Hold him on. Number four. Okay. What are you looking to do? Uh, improve all my numbers. Stay within myself. Kind of just prove everything. Get better. Sixty. Hopefully today I'll get a better pop time. But, yeah. Better pop time, dude. I saw you were at a one nine four to two oh. I think it was three. What yeah. I saw the last time. Yeah. What do you want to get to? I want to get to like a one nine flat. That's probably probably what I do want to do. Get a get a better velo too. It's on. It's on. I see you got that Futures game hat on. Uh, you were at the Futures games this last year? Yes, sir. How'd you do? Uh, went well. Two scoreless innings. So Very good. Went well. Getting some work from that? Getting any uh, contact from that one? Yeah. Uh, I would say the recruiting definitely picked up after that. Very That's good. For sure, yeah. Where are you looking at? Uh, right now, I'm keeping the door open. You know, this big mess with the transfer portal. So. <laughs> What are you trying to accomplish today? Uh, this is my first PBR showcase I've been to, so I was just trying to see what my numbers are and see how I stack up against everybody else in my age group. How do you think you did? I feel like I did all right, so hopefully, yeah. I, yeah. Key to good showcase is good ground balls, right, Coach? That's right. You gotta be there. It's an art. I just work for lunch. It's fun. Isn't it nice? <laughs> I'm having a blast. I threw 800 pitches for BP. Now I'm hitting fungals like crazy. Wouldn't want to do anything else. Nope. Hold them on. There you go. Ahead, babe. Done. Baby. <laughs> took you the whole took you the whole time there. Hey guys, we're finishing up out here today. Uh, Kevin stopped by. It's uh, he's been running around here like a chicken with his head cut off. You like that one? That's that old Missouri expression, right? Absolutely. <laughs> So, Kevin, thanks for stopping by. It's been a good event, hasn't it? Yeah, we've had a great day of it. Uh, a lot of standout performers. <laughs> um, started with the 60s, Jackson Carter running a 6'5", 
uh, then rolling into BP and a lot of good. In terms of talent, it's been really, it's been phenomenal. And it, it gets me excited about what we got coming this spring because there's going to be some great high school baseball. You get talent in here, it ensures that you're going to have, a, obviously, a fun spring. Well, we're going to catch up with Kevin. We'll be having him on the show. Make sure you tune in, YBM Cast. Uh, you get to listen to more from the guru here. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw it in there, man. <laughs> Guys, Kevin, thanks, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate coming out. Thank you. We have them. It's not 100% this way, but for the most part, the younger guys are more in the afternoon and uh, the older guys are in the morning session. And uh, I love both of them. The young guys are fun because you learn a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. you, you, maybe you see someone for the first time ever. Um, and, you know, the other thing I love about this is we're in the wintertime and uh, a lot of these guys, you know, we hadn't seen since the summer or fall. And see him and you're like oh my goodness that guy you know put on 10 pounds of muscle or 15 or whatever it is um so it's a great time of year because we're getting ready to roll into the high school season uh and i gain a lot of knowledge this time of year because i'll see a lot of players and uh see some of the jumps and kind of anticipate some guys that are about to have some big seasons uh now they got to go out and do it of course but uh it is fun for the kids too they get to you know, kind of see the fruits of their labor, uh, all the hard work they put in, and then they, they get a PR on the mound or a PR during exit VLO or just have a really good day in here, and that's always fun to watch. It was interesting. We got a chance to talk to uh, Casey Murphy from Park Hills Central, first time or to an event, and he kind of impressed, didn't he? Yeah, Casey, uh, he's a guy we've known about for a good while. Um, actually uh, was invited to the future games and had a – a conflict, so he couldn't make it. Um, but yeah, wow, he uh, upper 80s today on the mound, left side. Really good athlete, ran well. Uh, just took BP a minute ago, did really good there. So, um, he Kaysen was certainly one of the big winners on the day. And uh, we had Brendan Pyle this afternoon, freshman at East, looking to, to make an impact there, right? Yeah, that's a guy we've talked about is mm -hmm. one of those high profile freshmen, um, not a guy that uh, I didn't know about, obviously, because we, we've been talking about him for a while, but um, nice to get him in here, and it's going to be a fun one to watch this spring, because I think he'll have a chance to create an impact on that uh, varsity team at Zoom Wild We'll see what happens. We'll see right. what Coach Hill decides yeah. to do there, yeah. um, but certainly uh, that's a good one to have in your program for Coach Hill. We're only speculating, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> But I think those are fun things to look at. And I've been over just talking to some of the kids, really good personalities alike. I always enjoy this part of it because some of these young kids, I don't know them. I yep. definitely don't know them. But so, you're seeing some kids that way. It's fun. Yeah, two things. You'll notice that a little bit in the afternoon sessions, younger guys, and you spend a little bit more time saying, hey, take a breath or slowing <laughs> things down a little bit just to get them to settle in a little bit. The older guys, you don't have to do that with as much because they've been through it a couple times or a time or two. Uh, and then, yeah, it's fun to be able to uh, interact with the guys and get to uh, talk to them. Because when I go to a game, I go to the high school game, you know, they're, they got their coach, they got their game going on. I come up and I don't bother, you know, I just, I'm there to watch and then I go home. So I don't really get to interact with the guys. And so this event allows me uh, a little bit of interaction with the guys, which uh, I enjoy a lot and get to learn a little bit about them. That's cool. We're gonna get. We're gonna have some fun. We we were able to sit right here in this chair with uh, Xander Schmidt, um, with Brady Kellenbrink. Uh, we've got Carson Reimers coming up. Um, I know I'm missing some other kids. Uh, Kate Kate White from uh, Republic. Republic. Right hander did really well today. Yeah, Upper he, 80s arm, 90. I love that kid. Yeah. Uh, he's a he's a he's a player spotlight alum. And uh, so we got a chance to revisit with him. It was yeah. a lot of fun. So we're gonna we're gonna put these shorts together and get them out for everybody to kind of get a chance to get to know these kids a little bit. It's a lot of fun, man. That's awesome. No, I appreciate you guys coming out. And this has been a great day. This has been one of our best events we've ever had in terms of talent. It's been really, it's been phenomenal. And it, it gets me excited about what we got coming this spring because there's gonna be some great high school baseball. You get talent in here, it ensures that you're gonna have a obviously a fun spring. Well, we're going to catch up with Kevin. We'll be having him on the show. Make sure you tune in, YBM Cast. Uh, you get to listen to more from the guru here. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw it in there, man. Guys, Kevin, thanks, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate coming out. Thank you.